we are going to start factorizing algebraic expressions um, and specifically we're going to look at factorizing with a common factor okay so let's look at the question of factorizing the following example 6x minus 10y 6x minus 10y okay now the first step is we have to do something in the same way that we did previously okay so we look at the factors of 6x right what can go into 6 and what can go into x well it's quite simple the factors of 6x are 1 and 1 is a factor we're not really going to consider and 6 right um, as well as 2 and 3 and then finally the last factor of this entire product over here is going to be x those are the things that can go into 6x now let us look at what can actually go into go into 10y well I'm just going to list that over here the factors of 10y are 1 and 10 okay and then 2 and 5 3 and nothing else, 4 and nothing else, 5 and 2 it repeats itself and so therefore the factors are 1, 2, 5, 10 and y. Those are essentially the factors of 10y. Okay, so let's look critically at, at what do you see that are in both. Okay, and the most useful one will be the one that contains both of the uh, Okay, so as you can see, we want to now find out what is common and what do you see in both of these. Well, and in this case, we want to go for the highest, right? So there's a 2 and there's a 2. And there's nothing else that shows up in both of them. So this already gives you a clue. What you're going to do is you're going to take this, this uh, expression, which is 6x minus 10y, and you're going to have to break it down into 2 multiplied by something. And that's going to be 2 multiplied by 3 because 2 times 3 gives you 6 multiplied by x minus 2 multiplied by 5 multiplied by y and then you want to do what we done earlier where you take out what you see that is common in both of them now and that's a 2 and you want to apply the distributive law and reverse that operation 2 times what will give me 6x well it's 2 times 3x because we've already seen if we break that up we get 3x over there 2 times what will give me to a uh, a positive times what will give me this negative over here that's going to be a negative and then we say 2 multiplied by what will give me 10 and that's really 5 um, and y and so that is factorized and that's the end okay so we did it the long way I'm going to do one more the long way and then we're going to look at it um, in the short way let's take 2xy plus 4x 2xy plus 4x okay and let's break that down well what are the factors of 2 well 2 is a 2 is really it's a prime number so its factors are only 1 and 2 right and then uh, the factors of this expression is also x and y okay and then let's look at the factors of the expression on the other side that's going to be 1 and 4 and then 2 multiplied by itself, which means it's just a factor of 2, and then x. Okay, the order of these factors don't really matter. So let's see, what do you see in both of these? Well, clearly you can see that there is, um, there's, an, there's a 2 in both of them, and that's the highest. Remember, we're not worried much about the, the, the number 1, because 1 is a factor that doesn't help you much, because when you multiply by 1, everything stays the same. When you divide by 1, everything stays the same. And then there's an x as well. Right? So there's a 2 and there's an x and there's a 2 and an x. So we will take the highest of the, of the numbers and we'll take uh, the variables that also show up in both. Right? So let's do this. We say that the expression is 2xy plus 4x. And if I make that 2x multiplied by what will give me the y? multiplied by y, 2x times y gives me 2xy, plus 2 multiplied by 2x 
will give me the 4x because 2 times 2 gives me the 4 multiplied by x. So what do you see in both of them? You can see the 2x over there and the 2, um, sorry, the 2, sorry, 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 sorry. This is meant to be 2x because I'm taking out the 2x. 2x multiplied by 2 will give me 4x, right? It's like 2 cows doubled gives me 4 cows. Think of the x as cows and the y's as chickens. And so if I factorize this, now I can see what was common in both of them. I've got a 2x over there, and I've got 2x over there. And so that's going to be 2x that I pull out, and I open a bracket, and I say, okay, 2x multiplied by what will give me 2xy? It's multiplied by y. A positive multiplied by what will give me this positive? It's positive. And 2x multiplied by what will give me 4x? That's going to be this thing over here, which is 2. Okay, now the main aim of, of factorization is when you multiply this thing out, that multiplied by that, and this one multiplied by this one over here, it must give you what you started with, and then you can say it has been factorized. Okay, can we do another example? Okay, this example is 3p minus 6pq. What are the factors over here? It's just going to be 1 and 3 and p. And the factors on this side are going to be 1 and 6, 2 and 3, and then obviously p and q. Now my question over here is, what do you see in both? The highest. The highest that you see in both of here is 3 and 3, right? And you also see p and p. So both the three entire 3p needs to come out. So let's look at that. It's 6p. Oh, mama. 3p minus 6pq. And I'm going to take out what I see is common. And I'm going to say 3p multiplied by what will give me 3p. It's 3p times 1 minus 3p multiplied by what will give me 6. 3 times 2 will give me the 6. P is already there. And then I just need to put in Q. Okay. So now I take out. I take out. And I'm going to completely factorize this. The 3P. Then I ask myself. 3P multiplied by what will give me 3P? That's just 1. Minus. Because it's a positive times a negative. Will give me the negative. And that's going to be as follows. Um, multiplied by 2Q. Now, what you want to do is, because in the previous section you already learned how to multiply products, you can say that multiplied by that, and you can say this multiplied by this, and that's a method to check your answer, because 3p times 1 gives me 3p, and 3 times 2 gives me 6, positive times negative gives me the negative, p times q gives me the pq, and that's how you check if something has been factorized. Now, this was with common factors. What we're going to do next is we're going to start breaking it down into... Um, into more challenging examples, right? And we are not going to write out all these things over here, um, but we are going to fully understand what factorization means. In short, factorization is mainly the reverse of multiplying out products.